All right, we're going to spend some time talking about markers. To us, markers are points of interest. They're a single point file. Uh, we got pretty frustrated over the years. Uh, all your traditional GPS units like to call everything waypoints. And it gets to the point when you're building out a trip like this that you're mixing uh, turn waypoints, like turn left, turn right. To us, that is a waypoint. It's in a route with single location points. Single location points to us, we just call them markers. Uh, that could be a hotel. It could be a scenic lookout. It could be a pit stop in racing. It could be rally markers or VCPs. In the military, it could be checkpoints, HLZs, and the target building. So again, a marker to us is just a single point location. All right, so to talk about markers, we're gonna go into the menu where all of our GPS files are handled. And we're gonna work under our training trip collection that we built earlier. In this collection, currently you can see we have zero markers. We're gonna click on that. And there you can see the marker list which we have no markers currently in. So we're gonna go up here and hit new. And now this display here is what we call the marker dropper. It's how we drop new markers. You can see you can move around the map and in the center you have your little aim point. If we hit the crosshairs, it'll center on our location. which is lead nav HQ. Down here on the bottom left is the marker dropping pin. We're gonna click on that. And our list of markers displays. These are different marker packs. You have the standard packs that the core lead nav GPS application comes with. And if you keep scrolling, there's a couple specialty packs that you can purchase separately. We have a recon pack aviation pack and again if you want to purchase these you can go down to settings in-app purchases and down here at the bottom is where you can buy those individual marker sets now i'm going to center on our position i'm going to hit the marker dropper we're going to stick with the standard packs i'm going to choose this star here I'm going to click on the name field and we're going to call this lead nav. Hit save. All right. So let's say that we are going to mark out some different things in our area. We know there's a gas station right up here. I'm gonna drop a marker. We can use the fuel symbol and put fuel stop. You can see right here in the location field, we're in MGRS. If I wanna change that coordinate display, can go down here in the settings, units, and I can change it right here if you want to run Latin long, decimals, degrees, minutes, degrees, minutes, seconds, etc. I'm going to drop that point in there. Fuel stop. Done. Save. There we dropped our first two markers. One of those markers was on our current location by just hitting the crosshairs and dropping one. The second one we knew of something that was out there in our area and we just marked it. All right, the third thing that you can do is if somebody is reading over the radio, their current position, you can drop a marker and enter in their coordinates to snap that marker to their location. If somebody calls me up on the radio, wants to read their position to me, all I have to do is go in the menu, go to markers, hit new, drop a pin anywhere, and we can scroll over to, let's say, this individual right here. And we'll say Fred is trying to give us his location. So I can go into here to the coordinate display. 
tell them to read it off to me. And we can go in here and put his position in. Hit save. Hit save. And you can see it snapped over to his location. If I zoom out, you can see where that location is by hitting the crosshair in reference to us right now. You can run this in anything that you want, lat and long or MGRS. In the military, we run MGRS over lat and long because it's just a clean way to read something over the radio and get it plotted without any confusion. All right, so now you can see that we dropped three markers. And if I go to menu, you can see that I'm on the last marker that we dropped. And with that marker, there's a few things you can do in the menu. You can start off a go to, which will kick off navigation to Fred. And you can see this navigation is point to point as the crow flies. So with the core lead nav GPS purchase, you get visual open terrain guidance is what we call it. So you'll just get a straight line to the target, to the point that you're going to, and you'll get the distance in ETA. With the advanced subscription and the pro pack subscription, you get something called open terrain guidance to where as you turn, you'll get come left, come right, targets to your left, targets behind you, open terrain guidance, audio navigation combined with the visual navigation. I can stop that navigation by going up to the menu. And I can also fire up single point navigation from the main HUD by clicking on a marker and hitting the go to. All right, so say that you want to read off your current position to somebody over the radio. You're Fred. So all I have to do is go up to the menu, go to markers, go to new, hit the crosshairs to center on our location. Hit the marker dropper and right there is my current location. I can now read that off over the radio or like we've already done, we've dropped a point because we happen to be at lead nav HQ. There it is. If I drop the point right there on our current location and I happen to have cell service or satellite service, I could go down here to share and I can message that out, use our Iridium satellite messaging. Once I share that out, it'll be received by the other person. It'll come through and as a file and they can import that file directly into LeadNav. Now there's two options when you import a GPS file. You can import them into an existing collection or into a new collection. So in this case, we'd probably be running a group collection or a group folder for a specific trip. We would just import that into our existing collection and then you would see Fred's position and you could start navigating over to him. All right, that wraps it up for markers. Again, markers to us are just single points. Thank <laughs> you.